Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal-setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. that's when I started to figure out how to solve what I was going through. And then once I started to solve it and noticed that I was making big changes in my life, finally completing things, showing up, setting deadlines, making goals. And believe me, this took a long time. This was like six to eight years of me doing this. I ended up wanting to solve these problems for other people. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of Light Pink, best-selling author, three-time fitness world champion, and I'm a crazy multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me everywhere from being a broke waitress, barista, retails associate, and personal trainer with massive anxiety and no belief in myself to later becoming a multi-millionaire in love with my life. In 2007, my husband and I lost everything. We found ourselves hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt at rock bottom. We had no ideas and I had no education to fall back on. This is when I found personal development and learned everything I could about business, not by choice, but because I realized no one was coming to save me. The conversations on this podcast are going to let you know that you're not alone and that we all feel like we don't know what we're doing. We're going to give you the tools to help you face your fears, take action, start your business and grow those massive dreams that are keeping you up at night. It's time to create a life that you can't hide from and put so much on the line that your higher self is forced to come out. You're going to stop waiting for someone to approve of you and you're going to anoint yourself. Because I'm obsessed about building businesses that give women a platform, I want to feature you. So if you text the word podcast to 310-496-8363, You can get your questions answered on our Q&A segment along with a shout out. And if you rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast, 
we're choosing someone every month to get coached and featured on our show. It just might be you. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. And it's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit an inspiration. And I am somebody who just absolutely loves getting that quick shot of an idea of inspiration of learning from somebody else's journey in the morning. So I hope that this has proven to be something that just gets your wheels turning and looking at life in a different way, looking at life in a different lens and with a different question, which really brings me to my topic today. And that is the best ideas come from solving a problem in your own life or wanting to solve a problem in your own life. So many people are always like, where do you come up with these ideas? Or how do you know what you should be doing first? How do you know what journey you know you should be on? What are some of the first ways to become an entrepreneur? And I think one of the biggest things that you can do is look at your life and see the problems that you've had to solve for yourself and how you could now teach that process to other people. So for me, I found personal development and had horrible anxiety. I had a horrible body image. I had a horrible self-confidence, like the worst, you guys. You would not even recognize who I was. I don't know if you, you know, if you haven't been listening to this podcast, some of you may not even know that I dealt with such social anxiety because I hated who I was so much because I had never completed anything, Uh, you know, homeschooled through high school, didn't graduate high school, felt like a total loser working a bunch of different retail jobs, just bouncing job to job because I was never willing to go and apply for anything that could stretch me for fear of rejection or that people would find out that I wasn't, you know, educated or didn't have a college education. So I just avoided everything like the plague, which then turned me into an anxiety ridden freak show. Like I literally couldn't do anything without getting some crazy anxiety and having panic attacks. And, you know, I went through the whole gamut. I went and got, you know, anxiety and depression pills for it. I did the entire thing and they really did not help me very much, hardly at all, actually. In fact, it was to the point where I just felt so numb in my life because I was on so many different medications that I had a real come to Jesus moment. I was watching a commercial that was like so sad. And I don't even remember what it was about, but the commercial made me say something like in my brain, I asked the question like, wow, do I like, am I not feeling things that I normally feel? Like, is this numbing everything that I'm experiencing in life? You know, am I, am I trying to cope with something that maybe I should be looking at, or I'm not willing to look at, or I'm not willing to do the challenging things. And I'm trying to cover it up with things. This is not everyone. This was my experience, right? There are definitely people who I believe need to use the assistance of medication. I do think that it's helpful in some experiences. For me, I was simply running from something and trying to cover it up instead of facing what I needed to face. So with that said, during this commercial, I asked myself, I was like, wow, if I, if all of a sudden I lost everyone I loved in my life, how would I feel? And I was like, oh my God, I don't think I could cry. And that was the moment when I said, okay, I'm going to get off these things and I'm going to start facing whatever it is that I'm afraid of and seeing if I can do this with the help of like, I I didn't even know who that with the help of dot, 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 that's how it was. And I was like, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to turn to. And I started asking people, like I told Chris, because he worked in a big office, he actually worked in like a mortgage and finance company at the time. And I didn't really talk to a ton of people because I was kind of doing random retail jobs and didn't have a ton of friends. And I said, hey, ask anyone at work if they know, you know, of any like events or personal development or books or anything for for somebody with anxiety who or lack of self-confidence. So he actually went and he asked around his office and someone had just gone to something called Landmark Forum, which is almost like a big personal development type of experience where you're going to kind of face whatever it is that you've been avoiding. And for me, it was 
Um, you know, social anxiety, where did this come from? Lack of self-confidence. What's my story? What do I believe? Where did my story come from? Why do I feel this way? So I I was at the place where I was like, I'm going to do whatever it takes. And you know, that's when I started to figure out how to solve what I was going through. And then once I started to solve it and noticed that I was making big changes in my life, finally completing things, showing up, setting deadlines, making goals. And believe me, this took a long time. This was like six to eight years of me doing this. I ended up wanting to solve these problems for other people. So that is where these different ideas came from is down the road. I was like, wait, I've solved this for myself. I've been able to, you know, make these friend circles who support me through this. I've been able to set these goals. I've been able to set these little milestones. I've been able to show up. I've been able to, you know, do all of these different things. How do I package this and teach to other other people? So what are the problems that you have solved for yourself that now you can go and package for other people. All right. Another thing to look at is what is something that I do in my life that I'm like, wow, this is clunky. How could I streamline this? Or wow, I'm not really like, I just see that this could be done in a better way. How could I, how could I make this quicker, faster, easier for other people? Right. Maybe you're a mom and you're like, what is this clunky process with, you know, cleaning these baby bottles or whatever this looks like. And you're like, wow, I could think of something that could, maybe you created something at home that could be better. How can you patent something? How could you invent something? Right. So that's solving a need for yourself. Let's look at the third one. So number one was something that you've solved for yourself. Number two is streamlining. Number three is what is something that you could improve? So this is what I did with light pink. I looked around at the social culture of drinking. I looked around at what choices women had if we didn't want, you know, for me, I love wine. I'm obsessed with wine, but sometimes wine feels really heavy or two glasses of it. I'm like, oh, you know what? I felt that the next day and I don't feel great, but I still want to go and have my two to three drinks if I'm out all night with friends. And so that's when I said, isn't there, you know, but the lighter cocktails where it was like, you know, people are getting like vodka, soda, and a lime. And I I remember looking around one day in a restaurant and I was having a vodka soda and I was like, do we like this? Like, are we actually enjoying what this tastes like? Because I think it tastes like crap. Like I want something with a ton of flavor, but I still want something that's lighter, low sugar, and I want to feel good tomorrow. So I was like, God, I just feel like we could make this better. And I feel like it could be in a can so that it's like I could bring it with me to the beach. Or if I brought it with me to a social event, I don't want it to look like you know, a hard seltzer. I want it to look like a really elevated experience. Like I want a canned cocktail, but I want the experience of like a luxury rosé wine bottle. And so I started to say, how can I improve this? Is this a stupid idea? And then I was like, wait, I would love this. I would absolutely love this. And then I was like, okay, so when we're drinking, we're asking these, you know, we're having these conversations that usually I leave and I'm like, God, I wish we could have just like skipped the small talk and gotten to the good stuff. What if on the back of the can, we wrote questions so that we all got better conversations. We had the cocktail we wanted and we felt better the next day. And so I decided to create an idea out of something that I wanted to improve. I wanted it for myself, right? I wanted to solve this for myself. And that's why it's so easy for me to talk about it is because I'm so passionate about it. This is exactly what I wanted. I am the customer. So I can speak not only from the journey, but I can speak from being in the shoes of the customer and speak to that customer and know what she wants because she is me. So the fourth one is repackage. You guys, so many times we try to reinvent the wheel. And what I kind of did was repackage with light pink, you know, what is already out there, but needs improvement, but repackage, like what is something that's already out there, but you can just put your own spin on it. So maybe you're a, you know, maybe you love coffee cups, but you're like, God, I just wish that, you know, they came out with one with all these poppy colors with quotes that are a little bit more empowering or very specific to the boss babe or whatever that looks like. What's already out there, but you want to put your own spin on. You want to put your own flair on. So you guys, these are the four. What can you solve? What can you streamline? What could you improve? And what could you repackage? The four places where I think the best ideas come out of because 
because it's solving needs for yourself. So I'm sending you guys so much love. Let me know any of your takeaways. As always, sharing is how this podcast gets out there and it means the world to me. I literally see every single one of you who tag and share and I fall a little bit in love with you every single time. I'm so grateful for you. It's always nice to know exactly who I'm talking to, where I'm at. Am I on a walk with you? I'm in the car. What? Are we cuddling your dogs? I sure hope so. I don't know. Have a glass of wine with me. That would be great as well. And until next time, earn your happy. Bye everyone. Hey, y'all. I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network, and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton, and it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our lives. Life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. 
I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you want to create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're going to customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this and now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com.